Well, uh, we were asked to play, um, pick a couple of tunes to play uh, that were associated with uh, PJ McCall. So we had a look through the collection from the Fesh Kyol in 1914, and we found these two tunes that we thought were, would, play, would blend well together, or, or compatible. Mm. And uh, they're just two jig type tunes. And the first one was called the Shannon's Flower, Flowery Banks, and the second one, the Boys of Tralee. And what we found interesting about them was that the first one, the more we played it, even though it's written in jig time, it, it appears to us that it might be a verse from a song or an air, more so than a dance tune. But the second one, and it's marked double on the, the manuscript, is a little bit more in keeping with the type of jigs that we'd be more accustomed to playing now. And um, Yes, more like a, a double jig, which would be more popular nowadays, double jigs, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's difficult a um, hundred years later just looking at the page and trying to imagine how it may have sounded when JC Graham, a Dublin violinist, played this up at the Fesh Kjol in Dublin. We don't have any information about this one, bar that it was number 56 at the Fesh, the Shannon's Flowery Banks, and it's in the key of F. That, I mean, after that, we're, we're at a loss. Yeah. So we, we just have to interpret them how we would play them. I'd say, imagine the Shannon Flowery Banks was a lot different, possibly a song. Mm. But then um, we played it more like a, a single jig, and then we went into the double jig after that. We did try it as a waltz as well, just to yeah. experiment, because yeah. it has that kind of a swing and a feel about it. Um, but what's interesting as well is the jigs that we will be playing today, not just us, but most traditional musicians, um, there's a couple of little knotty phrases, particularly in the, say, the, the second bar of the first part and the third bar of the, the second part. They just wouldn't be how you'd normally no, expect phrase. to yeah. meet something yeah. in a tune. Yeah. Um, but then I didn't realise until we did a bit more research that the Pipers Club were involved with this as well. So that kind of might give it a different flavour as well, where the tunes may have come from. There could be a piping influence in the tune. Yeah. 